a failing government has no reason to stay. There's no point reinforcing failure. Nigerians have the right to demand for the resignation of a, gov of a government that, hasn't, that has been underperforming. But anyways, the demand of the protesters is clearly articulated and well noted. Provide employment, provide security for the people, improve the welfare of, of Nigerians. That's all. It's not too big to ask. If the government can provide that, why not? Anyways, it is a fundamental right of the citizens to make these demands. The protest is coming up as a result of the many failings of the Nigerian government. As it is today, there is high level of poverty in the country. Nigeria is well rated globally among the poorest countries of the world. There is unemployment. Youth graduate from universities or tertiary institutions without gaining employment. There is rise in insecurity. All through the country, especially in the northern part of the country, lives are being lost in large numbers by the day. And so it has become a matter of reasonability, a matter of common sense. It is a natural reaction that people, Nigerians, would naturally engage the government and criticize the government and disagree with the government on the poor policies of the government and the continuous failings of the government, like I said. So that's why the revolutionary protests are continued, and that's why it's held yesterday. Yeah, in that uh, protest across different parts of the country where the group are asking for a change of government. Is that right?